Proton, the company responsible for Proton Mail and Proton VPN, recently introduced its newest product, Proton Pass. But can it rival the current industry leaders? Well, what's a better way to find out than comparing 1Password versus Proton Pass in daily usage and security? Now, folks, multiple times during this video, I came to the same conclusion. Proton Pass is currently lacking in some areas. Naturally, comparing a manager who has been on the market for over 15 years and a newcomer like Proton Pass is well, sort of difficult. Proton Pass is new and will surely improve, but they also ask for money. So I'm going to judge it as a premium tool. All gloves are off. All right, so the first big thing in my Proton Pass password manager comparison is that this is an open source password manager. Now, this means that the code for Proton Pass is subject to the scrutiny of all users and specialists, in theory, giving much stronger overall security and more frequent updates. In real life, I don't know. I mean, it's not like non open source managers are dropping like flies. Just look at 1Password 2023. Because after more than 15 years in the market, it still has a great reputation and hasn't suffered any breaches or hacks. Don't get me wrong, Proton is also known for having a good reputation as well as a strong security and privacy suite, just not in the password manager sphere. Looking into technical details, both managers utilize end-to-end -end encryption using industry-leading ciphers that nearly every top password manager uses nowadays. What was more of a pleasant surprise is that both providers are independently audited and well, seem to be quite proud of that. Proton Pass, despite being this young, has already undergone one Cure53 security audit. Well, on the other hand, 1Password has a whole web page dedicated to all their independent audits, including their app for Windows and Mac. Quite impressive. Oh, and both managers operate on a zero knowledge policy with some extra security steps to ensure only you can see your info. So overall, both providers are pretty equal in terms of privacy and security. So a good start for Proton Pass. Before we move on in the Proton Pass versus 1Password comparison, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to stay updated on any further 1Password review or Proton Pass review. All right, moving on. Both Proton Pass and 1Password use vaults. Just like 1Password, Proton Pass allows you to store various info in specific vaults. Personally, vaults always help me stay organized and easily share passwords with colleagues. But Proton Pass lacks the sharing part of vaults. In fact, there is currently no secure way to share anything with Proton Pass. There are very few customization options or settings you can change in general. And yes, Proton Pass will improve and add all of these features down the line, but you'll have to wait until those updates come. If I'm already using Proton packages like mail or VPN, then okay, sure. But 1Password allows sharing individual elements or vaults with anybody, even outside 1Password's network. So Proton Pass now feels like a bit of an inferior product. Now, look, Proton isn't some new small company in the market. So Proton Pass comes with all the bells and whistles you'd expect from a great password manager. Save secure info or notes, auto-generate passwords, or use simple autofill. All of it works smoothly and quickly. I haven't experienced any lag when testing Proton Pass, but the same can be said for 1Password as well. Both managers are great for simple daily use. One is just obviously lacking in features. All right, well, apart from the password generator that works nicely, Proton Pass has one other feature hide my email aliases. It creates email aliases that I can use when signing up somewhere. In turn, not revealing my real email, but also redirect emails I've signed up for. 1Password comes with more unique features like travel mode. With it, I can specify certain vaults to be hidden if I leave the country's borders. Sure, it's more of a business feature, but Watchtower is for every user. It scans the web, regular and dark, for any leaks of my data. If 1Password finds anything, it informs me immediately so I can act quickly. So what user would I recommend ProtonPass? Currently, for those that only need a simple password manager. It does the basic things well, but lacks any extras that 1Password can offer. All right, now before we talk about money, can you try these managers for yourself? Yep, both ProtonPass and 1Password come with some sort of free options. 1Password offers a 14-day free trial to test out anything that you want. ProtonPass is actually more generous here, offering a free plan with unlimited password storage. These options are great for testing the waters out before buying, 
but they're quite limiting to be a long-term solution. Proton Pass offers one standard premium plan and one unlimited option. However, note that this unlimited plan doesn't give you any benefits for Proton Pass itself. It's just a subscription to all Proton services. So we can just say there is one Proton Pass plan. In contrast, 1Password offers plans for individuals, families, and businesses. And 1Password doesn't just offer more, it offers more at a cheaper price point. Proton Pass monthly plan costs under $5 a month, and 1Password asks for around $3 a month. What's better, at least for me, is that every 1Password plan comes with one gigabyte of encrypted storage space and the previously mentioned extra features. <laughs> All right, now one thing I want to note, Proton Pass did have a special launch offer that made the premium plan a dollar a month forever. So if you manage to snatch it, then sure, Proton Pass for a dollar is probably the best password manager deal out there. But this deal ends at the start of September. So to be fair, I wouldn't pay $5 for a product this bare, especially when one password exists and is even cheaper. Look, overall, I think Proton Pass's controls are okay. When switching back to one password, the difference is very noticeable. One big reason is that Proton Pass is only available for Android, iOS, and browsers. There's no Windows or Mac app yet. And personally, I really like doing most of my work through the native app, like one password, which is available for all major operating systems, mobiles, and browsers. All right, is Proton Pass good for daily usage? Oh, look, I don't dig the overall navigation with Proton Pass. It always seems like it takes a second to adjust. It might have something to do with the fact that the extension is quite bare, giving you the most basic options. I also don't like that the password generator is under the advanced tab. And this isn't really a feature I would call advanced. Anyway, the mobile app seemed to fit much better. I would even say that currently Proton Pass is best on mobile. While there are similarities with Proton Pass, 1Password just does everything smoother. Saving info, managing vaults, or generating passwords, all tools are placed comfortably and logically. I also like that you can see your vaults as well as favorite items. I found this to be very useful for my overall workflow. And yeah, favorites are missing from Proton Pass. Okay, so look, overall, I don't want to be too harsh on Proton Pass, but it just lacks so much. Even if it's small life improvements, it all adds up. Before we sum up this 1Password versus Proton Pass comparison, don't forget to check those discount links in the description below. I try to update them with the best deals as often as possible. Okay, which is the best password manager? If you're a Proton fan or working with its other tools, Proton Pass will be a great addition. It has strong security and is simple to use. However, currently, it lacks many life improvements and optimizations that 1Password has. I mean, for a regular user, 1Password will beat out Proton Pass any day of the week. So, what's your opinion on Proton Pass and Proton Tools in general? Yay or nay? And as always, you'll find my discount links in the description. And I'll see you in my next video.